Hey guys, welcome to the She Talk Systems channel. My name is Nicola Melinda and I am so excited for today's video. I am going to be showing you the elements that I use in ClickUp to help me manage my clients in my done for you operations agency. So if you are new to ClickUp or you're wondering what elements really can support your client management, your processes inside of ClickUp, then this video is definitely for you. I recommend that you hit subscribe if you haven't already. I drop a video every single week and showing you how I use ClickUp and Dubsado to manage the processes in my business. So as promised, this video is really designed to share with you some of the key elements that I use to help me manage my clients on a day-to-day -day basis. And that management goes through onboarding, offboarding, and just actual day-to-day -day doing the work, service delivery, right? ClickUp, for those of you who are new to it, is a very, very robust project management tool. I've been using it now for 18 months and really helping clients to see the benefits of using ClickUp inside of their business. I've been able to help other agents agency owners transition from other platforms into ClickUp and really streamline their processes, streamline their service delivery, especially when it comes to managing their client projects and their client tasks. Now, one of the things that we know as done for you service providers is that we can get very easily overwhelmed if we don't have a system in place to help us keep on track, keep our team on track and being able to just stay on top of the day to day movements things happen very quickly especially when you're running an agency or if you have a team things can really move quickly so it's great to have a system that can support you and your clients and your team as well and ClickUp does all three for me and for my clients as well so that's why I'm here sharing this video with you and I'm going to bring you behind the scenes so you can see what I use in my business and how I use it with my clients as well so if you do have any questions that do come up through the video be sure to drop them in the comments i love to see and respond to the comments in my videos so definitely be sure to do that and i will engage back with you if you haven't followed me on any of my socials definitely go ahead and do that on instagram or join the facebook group as well so enough of that let's dive into the meat of this video Okay, so this is inside of my ClickUp. I'm going to share with you some of the elements that I use to help me support and manage my clients when I'm working with them. So the first element is using the client folders and also using task lists as well to hold the tasks that we need to do. So you'll see here, this is actually one of my templated client folders and I color code them as well. So you can change up the folder color um, just by clicking on the folder and adding your colors there. So um, this is a template folder and then I have different lists for different purposes. So the first list is for client onboarding. And so I use this to ensure that the clients are onboarded and we're gathering all of their details. So this is actually for the clients themselves. Then we have a client management list as well. So this is where I will house strategy notes and also onboarding details for the clients such as workflow maps, a link to their Google Drive folder. So additional elements here that we're using are the custom fields and you'll notice that this particular list doesn't show things such as the due date or the assignee. That's because I've hidden these custom fields. So if I go into the show hide, it will show you what fields are actually viewable and it's literally just the access link. So it just makes it easy for my team to come in Here's the link to the onboarding form, the Google folder, the workflow map. And then the project tasks are actually structured differently as well. So if there's any project tasks that are coming through, they are grouped by status inside of this area. And so these tasks actually come through into ClickUp using another element, which is the ClickUp forms. So this is found using the form view. So you can go to view and you can actually select forms in this view so you can create a form and what it does is it attaches itself to its own task list so this is a support ticket which allows clients to actually submit their own tasks and um, assign the due dates select the priorities and so clients can actually share the details of the task drop any files and it comes straight into the task list so this is another element that we will use inside of ClickUp. So it allows us to manage the workload that's coming through into the 
project management tool and essentially cuts down us as a team having to assign tasks as well. Clients have more control over what support they need. The great thing about using the ClickUp forms is that you can literally grab a link, copy that and share it anywhere. So you may have noticed that there are different places where we've shared the forms. So I think the client management list is where we've shared the link to the form, but this will also be shared with clients in the dashboard, in emails as well, and in the Slack channel. This is an element of how we use it. So we use the folders to manage the client projects. We have different lists for different purposes. So we have the project tasks, client management, client onboarding, and also for completed assets as well. This is kind of like a file storage area. And this view is actually as a board view. So any assets that are created, such as videos, graphics, copy docs, SOPs, all of these links can be added into this section as well. So this is almost like a file management inside of the client project. So that's one way that we use the client folders and lists inside of ClickUp. And also we're using the form views. We're also using the custom fields as well. Another element that we use in ClickUp for client management is the ClickUp documents. Now we use the ClickUp documents to help us manage strategy meetings, also for weekly meetings as well. So this is great for retainer clients. We can prepare the agenda in advance and we can share that with clients as well. And so we have templated agenda documents. If we do a client strategy call, then we will be able to list out all of the notes in this section. We can add in links to documents and adding lots of different notes and this is shareable so you can actually share this document with your clients so you can grab a public link you can turn this into a public share link if you wish you can copy the link you can share the documents with other people in your team or with the client as well so it can be a very collaborative document and the same with the agenda as well so I like to make this a public agenda and um, share this and um, you can add in the meeting date and and then any action items you can turn into tasks. So from this agenda itself, we can highlight it and we can turn this into a task inside of the um, project folder. So we can actually go to project tasks. We can add an assignee um, and we can also add in due dates and also, you know, any other information that needs to be added in. And it just makes it very easy. So then we can go into our project tasks and see what additional tasks there are. So another element that we love to use inside of ClickUp is the dashboards. So this is an example of a client dashboard. I do have another video um, if you do want to see how we created this dashboard. We are linking in um, documents, we're linking in task lists, we're linking in um, links for clients to access their portal in Dubsado, book their client checking calls and all good stuff. And we also have a link to their support ticket. So this is a click up form that we're also embedding in as well. So the client dashboard is essentially their client hub. Everything that the client needs is housed in the dashboard. So we can share this out and clients are able to actually come in here, have an overview of their project. We've got some information on what to expect from working with us. They can access their portal and they can track their project as well in action. And so this is a really useful way for us to still work quite collaboratively with clients. Another great thing with ClickUp with the dashboards is you can add in lots of um, really great widgets. So I know that some people love to add in, say, the chat widget, for example. Um, that's a great widget. If you don't use Slack and you want to incorporate chat elements to your dashboard, you can do that. And so we've got lots of documentation. We've got some dashboard webinars and support there for anyone that is getting used to using the ClickUp dashboards. So we're inside of a client list. And so on each task list, there are different permissions for the client based on um, what I want them to be able to see. So for example, the client task list is for clients to ensure that their onboarding is complete. Under the sharings and permissions, for this particular client, they will have full access. So they'll be able to have full access and edit all of the tasks. So they have free reign in this list. However, if we go over to the project task list, this is really for myself, my team to do the work. 
So if we click on sharing and permissions, what you'll notice is that there are different permissions in this task list. So actually the client only has view only permission. So you get different stages of permissions and it just means that clients can view only, they can only they can't comment, they can't make edits in this particular list unless I change it. Um, if they have full access and they can do anything, they could edit if they have edit or they can have comment only access. But in this instance, I only want clients to have view only access so that we can do the project without the clients jumping in and playing around with anything in this task list. So that's another way where ClickUp really helps us to manage our clients and our client projects inside of the folders and the task list. So that is it. That is exactly how I use ClickUp with my clients, how I use it to manage my clients, communicate with them, keep them on track with projects and help them to stay in the loop within how we're working together. And it is so, so useful. I don't know what I would do running my business without any type of project management system in place, but ClickUp definitely has helped. If you do want to get started, I'm going to drop my link below so that you can go ahead, grab that and start learning how to use ClickUp. But also, if you do want some quick plug and play templates to help you get going i'm going to also link my click up plug and play template bundle which will allow you to literally get started in using click up so grab those two links below make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video and come back next week i will be dropping another video here on the she talk systems channel next week and i hope to see you there thanks for watching